Well, you are welcome once again. This is Apple Mass Innovation and um, your authoritative and educative mathematics tutorial series where we try to look at uh, various aspects of mathematics as far as uh, courses in the university and elsewhere are concerned. Uh, in today's um, video, we are looking at differential uh, theories and more especially looking at the, the mean value theorem. The mean value theorem. The theorem is you have one, and the, the other one is the, the Cauchy mean value theorem, which is two. Uh, but this particular one, what actually are we looking at? We have defined mean of uh, uh, numbers, okay, over the years. And, uh, but this particular one, we want to just look at a certain function. Let's pick a function. But before we state the theorem, let's look at something. Uh, let's say that um, we have the axis here. And this is the origin, and uh, we want to draw something like this as uh, f of x. And you say that this will be 2x plus 1. And so that means this space is going to give us 1. Uh, this will be 1, and uh, this space is going to be uh, negative 1 over 2. Uh, so we have something like that. Now let us also say that there is a certain point here that I want to call 1. So 1, and, uh, so that you have something here. So if 1 is here, then this is going to be 3. Okay, so um, it means that this 3 here is the same as f at 1. Wow. f at 1 is given us of 3. And um, so what would this be? f at um, negative half is given us, uh, so this point, uh, y value is what? Um, 0. Alright, so we have something. So what actually are we driving at? Let's also look at the derivative of this. Let's differentiate this one. And what are we going to do? Okay. So let's look at something. Um, let us say that f at 1 should be subtracted from f at 2. And uh, so that we divide by. So let's take this as the interval. A certain interval, one and a half. So I will now have zero minus half, but this will give us three and uh, minus this one is giving us zero. Um, you'll be wondering what at all are we doing, but uh, don't worry, everything will be clear. So then one then plus uh, one over two, this gives us three, so three over two. And the result is 2. Oh, okay. So this is the same as the derivative here. Oh, okay. Then this is the same as the derivative. Then we can say that the theory is saying that. Um, let. Oh, is that right? So let f of s. So let, um, let f of s be continuous on a certain interval, close interval, a, b. And yes, as we have a f of s is continuous. The interval we just stated is a very small interval, this and that. So let the function be continuous on the close interval, a, b, as we have just created. So by now you will be realizing what we did here. And uh, f prime of s exists in the interval okay. in, so the derivative of the function should exist within the interval now if that is the case and then we will say that f at b minus f at a divided by b minus a is equal to f prime at s naught where s naught is a certain value which is within the interval a and so here the derivative should exist in the open interval so the open interval a good so that is the theorem let f of s be continuous on the closed interval as we just expected this function here is continuous as far as this interval is concerned 
And then the first derivative should exist within the interval. So after differentiating the C and what do you got to do? If it exists in C, it doesn't mean you don't have the undefined derivative. Then, um, if that is the case, then f at b minus f at a divided by base gives us the derivative of the function at a certain s naught, where s naught is within this particular interval. So after differentiating this, if we want to look at f prime at zero, f prime at zero, it still gives us two. But this zero is within the interval that we have created. Yeah, so that basically is the, the mean value theory. All right. Good. So now let's look at another theorem. So that's the mean value theorem. Then you also have the Koch. So let's end this one here. The Koch mean. So let's get that as the mean value theorem. It's actually the second mean value theorem. So mean. Value at this point, Kochi is having other ideas. So instead of looking at just one function, Kochi we want to look at staging where we have two functions. So it says that let uh, f of x and so g of x be continuous on the closed interval a. So we have the closed interval a. So let the two functions be continuous on a closed interval a b. And f prime of x, g prime of x. It means their derivatives um, exist on the open interval a b, such that. They, that they don't vanish. They such that the two derivatives they don't vanish together. If they vanish, the one will vanish, then the other one will be there. But the two don't vanish together. So such that uh, the um, don't vanish uh, together. Right, so we're letting the functions exist in the closed interval, the derivatives existing uh, in the open interval, so that they don't, the both, uh, both of the derivatives don't vanish together. Then, within the closed interval A, B, such that, so such that, um, we have f at b minus f at a divided by g at b minus g at a being equal to f prime of uh, that x naught divided by g prime of that x naught. So that is the Cauchy. Um, mean value two. That's the second mean value two. Mean value two. Well, unlike the first one, where we were looking at one, we are looking at two functions which are continuous on the closed interval. Their derivatives also exist in the open interval, such that they don't vanish together. Then this here is what we get, and then this is the other mean value two. Good, so um, I will end today's um, video here. We will meet again to look at uh, other differential theories. Um, that is the uh, indeterminate form and the uh, polar theorem and the other theory. I will be very grateful to join me in those videos as we do more discussions as far as the differential theories are concerned in the course introductory analysis. Thanks very much.